You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had to just to endure that weight. Chapter 1. To Survive. Daily Life. Welcome back to Danganron for Trigger Happy Havoc, people. Um, it's been a while since I uploaded because I've had some stuff on, but you know, oh well. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp Aunt? words. So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring to each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It'll pull us all back into reality. <laughs> right, she's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. Don't forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Huh? Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about However... it. However... Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out. Duh. What the... And we totally need to find whoever is controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. But... But, but before we do all of that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue about what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Alright. So then... Fine. Let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and centre. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemised list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on all of us. Students may reside only within the school. Residing camp leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Night time is from 10pm to 7am. Some areas are off limit at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and be punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope B Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I'd love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with the, my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that's what. Piece of shit! So I don't have, I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me. But you were saying that you will follow the regulations, is that That's it? That's true. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. <laughs> It says that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from anyone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget about all the m silly, silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. True. We need to find out exactly where we are. Is there a way out? What about school food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay then, let's start looking around. <clears throat> I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That was a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? <clears throat> Someone here might have already think started thinking about murdering one of us. 
Are you saying we could stand around with them in front in our mists and make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second. Wait, hold on a sec. That would never what? Don't bother saying it could happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when the graduation rules made clear to the <laughs> youth. Am I wrong? Uh, um but, but hmm. So I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of lame way, Plankton. What? What? What's the the fuck's that meant to mean? Such a One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly be have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it. We should what? have fight. The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody goody little bit. You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a fuck you. Wow. Well, we're dead already. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. The kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had just blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as serb as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. For it kind of finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Yeah. Huh? Where am I? As it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up yet in another room I had never seen before. Okay, so, where am I now? You are now access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the square button. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info from the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, click the touch pad button to review the transcript. Like that. This records all personal info, so use this to review com comments from everyone involved. This is our room. And in our room, we're going to leave it here. Thank you, everyone, um, for for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.